Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today we're going to talk about a nutrition subject. We're going to talk about wheatgrass. And hopefully you've all had at least one shot of wheatgrass or barley grass. And I'm going to mainly focus on wheatgrass, but everything I say about wheatgrass pretty much applies to barley grass as well. Wheatgrass is amazing. If you want a really good book about it, uh, weed, <laughs> weed, yeah, read Anne Whitmore's book, The Wheatgrass Book. Okay, she is considered the guru of wheatgrass. Um, I know that she got into some hot water with the FDA of making a few claims, but unless you have MD after your name, then everybody gets into some hot water with the FDA. Um, I agree with most of everything that she has said in her book. I wouldn't go to some of the extremes that she talks about of using wheatgrass, but a shot of wheatgrass every day is amazing for your health. Okay, so let's talk about some of the things. Wheatgrass supposedly is sweeter than barley grass. Barley grass apparently is a little more bitter. I'm going to talk to, be, to you about some of the reasons that you want to take it, and then I'm going to talk to you about ways that you can take it. And I have a blog on the big subject as well. So first of all, one of the biggest things that you want to understand about wheatgrass is that it's loaded with chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a, a green pigment that is found in plants. Okay, and chlorophyll is amazing. Okay, it has the same, it's called and referred to as the blood of the plant, and it has the same molecular structure as our blood. Now, if you remember when I was talking about um, essential oils, therapeutic grade essential oils, they too have a similar molecular structure to our blood. So anytime that you're giving yourself something that has the same molecular structure to our blood is very, very powerful. Chlorophyll does a number of things. First of all, it completely cleans your system. It's like taking a roto-rooter into your body or swallowing a roto-rooter because it goes and it cleans everything. It cleans the cells, it cleans the blood, it cleans everything, it cleans the liver. It gets everything in tip-top shape. It also adds oxygen to your blood. You want oxygen in your system. You want to have an aerobic, what they call an aerobic, as opposed to an anaerobic system. And an anaerobic system is when the oxygen levels are low, and then it can breed cancer. Now, people say, well, how can I tell if I have enough you know, oxygen in my blood? If you look at Eastern approaches to health and wellness, they will tell you to look at your dominant thumb. Okay, If you're left-handed or right-handed, whatever it is, if you're left-handed, look at your left thumb. If you're right-handed, look at your right thumb. Look at the moon or the luna. It should represent one third of the space of your thumb, okay? That indicates that you have plenty of oxygen in your system that's oxygenating. If you're taking wheatgrass, a shot of wheatgrass every day, or even two or three times a week, trust me, you've got a lot of oxygen in your system. Now, the type of chlorophyll, chlorophyll actually cleanses rather than builds, which is interesting because there are types of chlorophyll that actually uh, build. Because wheatgrass is considered um, actually more, more of a vegetable than a fruit, usually fruits cleanse, vegetables build. But the chlorophyll that you find in wheatgrass is actually going to cleanse your system, as I said. It helps with circulation. You want your body circulating. You feel better when everything is circulating. Remember, I mentioned diabetics who have neuropathy. The circulation in their feet becomes, becomes sluggish and it causes them a lot of pain. So again, the chlorophyll is going to help with that. It helps with heart function. It improves the function of your intestines and the whole entire gut area. You want that area functioning at top notch speed. It not only cleans out our cells, but it also strengthens the cells. So that's just some of the things of chlorophyll. It also, a wheatgrass contains just about every vitamin known to man. It contains the entire gamut of the B vitamins, which is very similar to what I said to you about brewer's yeast and a few other um, that I talked about in other tidbits. Okay, it also helps with your skin. It can eliminate itching. Now, you can either take the wheatgrass internally or you can get it um, if it's in a shot and you want it for your skin, you can dip some of it. If you have really itchy skin, you can dip some of it in a cotton ball and you can put it on that itchy part and it will really, really help. Now, people have said, does wheatgrass help with eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis? Well, usually those are conditions that you need more vitamin A. You need the fat soluble vitamin A. You need cod liver oil. So those are ones that I would use for that. But if you have just an itchy type of a skin for whatever reason, try uh, wheatgrass for that. 
It also helps to tighten loose and sagging skin. And what helps with that, again, is the chlorophyll. Uh, the one thing about wheatgrass, too, is if you take shots of wheatgrass and you're thinking the word wheat and you're thinking gluten, you don't have to worry. Number one, wheatgrass is made from organic wheat berries, okay? The problems that you're having with wheat and gluten, that's because of um, the GMO, the genetically modified, which is what, 94% of the wheat products that are out there now and all the wheat flours. You don't have to have any concerns about wheat or gluten issues when you take wheatgrass. It's it doesn't apply. It doesn't pertain to it at all. Okay, it also acts as an anti-aging factor. If you're looking for the, uh, you know, the fountain of youth, then get taking a shot of wheatgrass every day. It actually helps with all of those aging factors. It actually reverses them, which is pretty amazing because it's cleansing the blood, it's rejuvenating the blood, it's adding oxygen to the blood, which helps the skin, which helps everything, you know, the circulation, everything, that you're getting more blood circulated throughout the body. So all of your organs are going to, um, they're going to work at tip-top shape as well. So, and I told you it has essential vitamins. So, taking two ounces of wheatgrass juice a day, which is comparable to three tablespoons, is like eating two pounds of vegetables a day. So, if you're not a vegetable person, then by all means, you need wheatgrass. All right, so how can you take it? There's several ways. Okay, living in Southern California definitely has its advantages. Traffic isn't one of them. But the farmer's markets there are amazing. They're over the top. Okay, so we lived in, in a suburb of Los Angeles. Every single Saturday, our family went to the Torrance uh, Wilson Park um, Farmer's Market. It's huge. It's incredible. They had several places there that you could buy wheatgrass flats. Okay, so in 2004 is when I got heavily into wheatgrass. And, you know, I wanted to be one of those purists. I wanted to juice all of my own. So what I did is I bought a flat of wheatgrass. Now, the books tell you only juice what you're going to drink that morning. That's crap. Okay, here's the problem. First of all, the stupid flat sits out on your counter, and all of a sudden I had these bugs flying around, and so then I put it in the fridge, but by the time the end of the week rolled around, some of the blades of grass had gone kind of a yellowish color. You know, you don't want that. So I said, screw it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to juice the entire flat. By the way, if you're going to juice it, you need a juicer specifically for wheatgrass. If you put it in your regular juicer, you'll gum up the whole works. So one thing I learned as I was using this juicer is I would put the blades of grass in at an angle. It, you know, it, even using a wheatgrass juicer, sometimes you can, you know, there can be clogs. So I juiced the entire flat. Then I got an ice cube tray and a measuring uh, spoon. It was uh, one tablespoon. And I put in three tablespoons of the juice for every tr um, ice cube tray or ice cube thing. Then I froze it. And every day I popped one of those out and I added it to my drink. Okay, so that's one way you can do it yourself. Another way is you can go to a juice bar and spend $3 a day for a shot of wheatgrass juice. Now, one thing that you need to notice about wheatgrass is this. It should, when you're, when you're buying really healthy wheatgrass and you're juicing it yourself, you're going to notice that it's a deep, dark green, almost a black, okay? Oftentimes when you go to the juicing place, they either purchase it ready, ju already juiced or if they juice it on a flat, then they grow the flat back again. I got a new flat every week because the problem is, is that the next time you grow that flat again, it gets weaker. And then the third or fourth time, it keeps getting weaker and weaker and weaker. So you're going to end up with a juice that's kind of a lime green color rather than a super dark green color. And one thing I forgot to mention, if you're going to juice yourself, when you, when you cut the grass, cut it down to the base as far as you can because the concentration of vitamins and minerals is at the bottom. It's by where the soil is, so you want to cut that down quite far. All right, so if you're getting a shot of wheatgrass, what I have, and I've done this at juice stores, I said, you know, I want to see. I want to see your flat. How many times have you, you know, grown this thing? Or you can even look at it. If it looks like it's lime green, then, you know, it's, it's just not giving you the same content. And why are you spending three bucks a day for something that doesn't have the same concentration of vitamins, minerals, chlorophyll, and so forth? All right, if you are totally busy and you're not going to go and spend $3 a day at the juice place, you're not going to be juicing your own, then take the pills. Okay, the wheatgrass pills, you can get them on Amazon, all different kinds, look to what, you know, what they're saying. But in order to get like three tablespoons a day in the pill form, you usually have to take between 13 and 17. 
that's not that big of a deal either. Okay, you know, there's pe people popping all kinds of vitamin pills today anyway. The one thing that you will be missing from a pill are the enzymes. Okay, enzymes are great. I take enzymes, you know, we have indigenous enzymes and, you know, they get used up in the body and so then you take some enzymes. All right, but that's pretty much the only thing you're going to be missing. You're getting all the chlorophyll, you're getting all the vitamins, all the minerals, all the other important um, nutrients that you need. If that's the best way for you to take it, then by all means take it. Now, some companies have it both in a powder form or a pill form. Choose which way is going to be best for you. And if you have little kids, maybe you want to have the powdered form because it'll be easier for them to drink. So if you have any questions or comments that you've had with um, wheatgrass, taking wheatgrass juice, fabulous, wonderful things that have happened to you as a result, please share them in the comments section. And if you like what you're seeing, pl seeing, please subscribe to my channel. I would really super appreciate it. And comments are always welcome. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.